late in the night before dawn. The madness begins. As the morning lightens, more and more madness. These are the scenes that most Kenyans wake and sleep to. They are common sounds that most Kenyans have become accustomed to. Me and watu wa matatu, they are not doing as good because we are treating the to seme. Over the years, public transport has remained the major means of transport for majority of Kenyans, most of whom can ill afford any other means. Despite relying on these means of transport, the sector is a nightmare to most of us. Many will say it's a madness we can't live without. Every time you walk on the streets of the city, scenes like these are common. The drivers are worse. Actually, wow, I'm going to go to the bus. I'm going to go to the bus. I'm going to go to the license. Gali iko na insurance, wana jua gata kitu yote iki happen tu baya. Yeah, na jua duwa naeda pale kotini ya napigwa faini tu kidogo. Wana baki tu kwa sida. Na saa hata, hata ukiumu hakuna pali ya yeah, ya iza peregwa. Just who is responsible for your safety in Matatus? So you are as empowered as I am, as, as a road user, to say I don't like this Matatu in terms of this construction, in terms of the state. And you can walk and actually talk to the driver or the conductor and tell him, I don't like the state of the vehicle and this and this issue needs to be rectified. You know, it takes two to tango. Uh, enforcement of, of laws, be it traffic, be it general laws, should not be left to police alone. By that I mean, uh, passengers should not complain alone. They should report such incidences, and that is what is lacking. The chaos that greets you before you even step a foot inside the vehicle is a test of the ear-splitting, headache-inducing noise they call music. <laughs> and once inside, it's a terrible experience. In spite of the drawbacks of public transport, passengers will stand all these with the hope they reach their destination safe and sound. Red Cross is cross with Senator Sonko. The National Transport and Safety Authority is the body mandated to ensure safety and orderliness on the roads. And I think the general public also don't know the rules of NTSA. Uh, the National Transport and Safety Authority is a regulator for all matters with all transport and as such licensing of public service vehicles uh, particularly those who that uh, do uh, town service and long distance except for taxis uh, is the responsibility of the national transport and safety authority the objective of forming the authority was to harmonize the operations of the key road transport departments and help in effectively managing the road transport subsector and minimizing loss of lives through road accidents. We have, uh, we have uh, obligation in terms of helping the government establish the proper uh, policy and legal framework. And that is by giving our input uh, or providing that advice to the public ministry, to the Ministry of uh, Transport uh, the core functions of this body are to advise and make recommendations on matters relating to road transport and safety, to implement policies relating to road transport and safety, to plan, manage and regulate the road transport sector in accordance with the provisions of the Act No. 33 of 2012 and to ensure the provision of safe, reliable and efficient road transport service. 
the other thing I want to say the public, every road user has a responsibility of helping us to achieve these objectives. What we do is we create an environment through uh, the policy uh, issues, through the legislative uh, process, and through public education and awareness to empower everybody to contribute and to participate. It works with the traffic police, the judiciary, and the Matatu circles to achieve its mandate. The idea of circles was again also to, to collapse the entire industry into, into manageable uh, groupings uh, for purposes of what we call self-regulation. The body exonerates itself from the blame of the menace. And we have been very fair and firm about this. There is no true way about it. You are either meeting the requirements or you are not. Those who are not meeting, uh, they must demonstrate strong commitment and a clear action plan to address any issues that may, may not be in place. But those who are uh, obviously uh, blatantly violating, we are not allowing them. And, and the public and everybody else should help us to ensure that we only allow people are responsible to serve us because that is the right thing for all of us. Due to this madness, police in Nairobi impound around 450 to 500 matatus every day in Nairobi area alone. A fine of a minimum of 1.5 million is also collected on an almost daily basis. And those cases involve about obstructions. Okay, namely, all general traffic offences, yes, and uh, a minimum of 1.5 million in fines on a daily basis to 2 million. Obstruction and overlapping, cases of pure carelessness are the most committed offences. This is evident from the number of matatus impounded during traffic police operations. Generally, the problems you have about PSV is in Nairobi. Most of the traffic offenses, it's about overloading, it's about making money, and obstruction. Yes, obstruction within CBD, obstruction, dropping and picking passengers at undesignated places. Uh, those are the main cause of um, traffic offenses. However, not the impounding, the arresting or even the heavy fines have shied operators in this industry from carelessness and impunity. We, we don't have a, a problem with the vehicle. If you arrest your driver with the obstruction case, isn't it? It is the driver you're after. So even if you want him to go to court, he'll go. Isn't it? But you know one thing that happens in Nairobi? Drivers are very organized. Hmm? Uh, if you leave your driver, you don't pay for cash bail, you don't pay for the fines, they will gang up against you in the town. Yes, and your vehicle will rack a driver and a turn boy. Those are the issues that they don't come up. Yes, so the owners are really not in control. Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. Yes. All kinds of traffic crimes have been reported at different points. And recently, it was the industry befallen by the shame of stripping women in the name of observing social norms and ethics. Passengers have accused Matatu drivers and conductors of colluding with thugs to rob them. The worst of all, Matatus are death traps. At Huruma Estate, in the outskirts of Nairobi City, Edith is a disturbed mother. On the 22nd February 2015, this family received the disheartening news of their daughter's accident. It was an incident of matatu madness. She tells the story of the passing of her daughter in the careless hands of matatu.
operators. Dineti alipokuja tulishinda naye vizuri. Sasa alipotoka akienda alifika penye alikuwa anaenda anafanya kazi kikuyu. kufika huko aka gari yenye alikuwa amepanda ilikuwa gari ya 105 shuttle. Sasa kufika kwa stage ikawa ni let hours. Akawaambia wamshukishe wakakata. Sasa ile hali ya kubishana na conductor, conductor alimtupa nje. Akaanguka chini na akaangukia mbavu. Sasa hangeweza kuamka. Alipoamka hapo wakipeleka AOC hospitali. Hao watu abiria ndio walisikuwaliwaharakisha, wa walilazimisha hao watu wampeleke hospitali. Hasa walipoenda wakifika, Lineti aliongea tu kidoga akipiga simu akisema vile amepata ajali. Alipigia alipigia sister yake simu anaitwa Morin akamwambia amepata ajali, amepelekwa hospitali Kikoi. Sasa alipoenda akifika huko, aliongea only 30 minutes na akapasa away. The night of 22nd February, the let Linet, may she rest in peace had spent time with her family. They happily laid plans on how she was to marry her husband-to-be. The event would not live to be. I went home. I was able to get a child as a So, I was able to get a child as a child. I was able to get a child as a child. I was able to get a child as a child. I was able to get a child as a it's the pain of losing a loved one. Her fiancé was too traumatized to speak. To her mother, it's a vacuum she cannot fill. Serikali, mimi naezaomba serikali tutendee haki. Kwa sababu hatuwezi poteza mtoto, tumeshinda vizuri mtoto si mgonjwa, alafu maisha yake iishe hivyo na tusisaidiwe chochote. Sasa tunataka serikali kama inaweza kutusaidia haki itendeke. The matatu which had been held at the Kikuyu police station has since been released. The matatu driver and conductor are still missing. The hospital where the late Lynette was attended has been accused of negligence. Her family claims that the hospital was not keen in saving their daughter. Yeah, tulienda huko. Tukaenda huko tukapata alikuwa walikuwa wana pretend ni asifu wanamtibu but wako wanamtibu. When KTS team visited the hospital, the management frustrated our every effort to get their side of the story. You guys, you came and you said, I told you consult, you waited, mm. I have to consult again. And I'll present what the patients say, okay. I mean the relatives, that, you know these are hospitals, yeah. it's not mine. Yeah. You know if it's mine, I can make decision now. On a mission to sanitize the chaotic matatu industry in the country, the Minister of Transport has been on the forefront to bring new rules and regulations in the industry. In conclusion, it is noteworthy that some of the traffic jams are caused by lack of uh, courtesy and bad driving habits. We urge all drivers to act with courtesy and avoid bad driving habits like overlapping. We also recognize that we require the support of all our stakeholders, who include PSV operators, commercial and private vehicle owners. However, fierce opposition has always risen, emanating mostly from the industry players. Also, for Pandia traffic, Tafadali, Awato Magari Ndogondogo. They do overlapping, they do all those sorts of things. The only problem is the traffic policeman sees a matatu pekeake. So we should, let's please, let's have a change. We want to support this government to be successful. I think last month, if I'm not wrong, Honorable Judge Odunga declared the NTSA regulations illegal. KTS team sought to know why. Everybody wants a piece of it. See your Senegal, see your... So buy a good idea. There are so many prayers, isn't it? Even in uh, in a matato, do you know how, how many people it feeds? Many. There's a squad driver. There's a squad. Uh, there's a squad driver. There's a squad.
return boy eh? there's a manager and uh, the problem actually uh, I would say that uh, actually affects operators in Nairobi is that the owner is at the very very behind eh? he doesn't have control of the vehicle are you getting me there are so many handles and you know corruption is funny whereas well, I, well, I don't want to defend actually that uh, we are not uh, maybe individuals are not corrupt but the organization is not corrupt because that is not a policy does the multi-million industry make the players untouchable uncontrollable not really because we, we always deal with them when they break the law are they above the law we are actually equal to the task they are not uncontrollable just that they commit crimes like any other one traffic offenses like any other one kenyan but still they are uncontrollable not yet Circles were introduced to bring sanity and make the management of the sector easier. However, players in the industry blame the government for not investing enough in sensitizing them. I've told you we work like ignorance. So somebody benefits from that when I don't say something. They are supposed to help us. Operators also blame the government, particularly the police, for interfering with their work. Some matter to circles, though, have devised stringent rules to maintain discipline within their work. If circles are going to be able to tame their drivers and to professionalize their drivers, it will be very easy. But I'm saying that on that line, we're working together. Them, Matatu Owners, Matatu Welfare Association, and circles. Some circles have done a fantastic job in terms of calling their, their members, some of the drivers, uh, some of the conductors, and ensuring that they follow uh, the regulations. In fact, some are more strict than we are ourselves in terms of enforcing their code of conduct because the law requires that every circle or company will have a code of conduct that all members uh, subscribe to. However, they also face different challenges as other players in the industry. They are decry bad roads where driving and doing business is dangerous. Madness on city roads is a concern to many. It's a topic even social media users have hope they can find a solution to. On the streets where the madness happens, citizens express their bitterness. The matter to men is too much in Nairobi. in the streets. So something must be done. Agentry, yes. Actually, Razimo Adara would do Sasa Najua Mutu Hajai Fanya Kazikamaya Boda Boda. So, an old Anaonaga to Ira Piki Piki and Adara to an honor of Hafai Kukua for Barabara. No, no. Anaona to Hafai Kukua for Barabara. Or do you an Anago upon a right? Do you know Patagas are beginning at a at a Paharipo Porta to a Madatu as a Peter? Do ye Hana Sida? Then a Hana as was your Tena Ajua Gari Konamwenewe? Sasa, me like you know. These Matatu guys are like totally arrogant and rude, but you know I understand them because during the day they undergo so much. They meet so many people who disturb them and give them weird problems, so eventually they are hardened to behave like that. Millions of shillings have been used to install traffic cameras in the city. On the flip side, the madness occurs every day at the watch of the big brother. As the roads get better and as the government continues to expand the highways, one can only hope that the madness on the roads does not get worse. Don't ignore an issue. If you know it is repeated somewhere else.